everyone and welcome back. So I apologize for this side of my face being a little bit darker. I am relying on my actual bright lamp and my ring light mirror, which isn't excessively bright. So I'm very sorry. Um, my tripod's not actually on my desk because I have to raise my chair up too much. I only put my tripod on my desk when I actually film like makeup videos now. So my tripod um, extends up to like three meters tall. So it's fully standing right now. Anyway, today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. This morning I filmed a what's in my makeup bag, like travel makeup bag type of video. And I was actually inspired to do a what's in my bag because I did one of these, I believe January last year but I have a new bag that I use now. I still have that one that I used to use before and I will use it every now and then. And I have others that I use, but the one I'm going to show you is my main bag that I use. This is the bag that I use. This was in my, I can't remember if it was my what I got for Christmas video or my birthday video. I cannot remember if I got this for my 20th birthday or for Christmas, but it was in one of those videos. And this is from the brand Cabrelli, which I love. It's not a like designer brand or anything like that. We have a shop here in Australia called Strand Bags that sells handbags, wallets, suitcases, um, passport holders, basically any type of like bag. They sell backpacks. That's where I got my backpack that I use all the time. So they just sell bags of any sort that you will need. They sell like really strong backpacks for hiking and things like that so yeah um and i love getting stuff from there this cabrelli brand as well i've had wallets from them and they last forever this bag is the tan shade as you can see but they also had it in white they had it in a white with like this tan color on the trimming um they had it in i believe a steely blue a black a dusky pink and I cannot remember if they had it in a grey. They might have, but I also might have made that up. I don't know. This, I have to say, is one of the... This is the most comfortable handbag I've ever used. My mum and my grandma have a very extensive collection of handbags between them as well. And out of all the bags we have in this house, this is my favourite. My mum's actually all the time trying to take it from me, even though it's got, like, my stuff in it. Uh, so I might buy her one for Christmas. But I, I love this. It's got quite a few pockets and it's big enough I can store everything. But it's not like that massive black and white bag that I had where I store everything in it. So for an overview, you obviously get the strap. The bag sits like this. You have the front pocket here with this zip. You have another pocket in the top with this one. You have the main pocket on the inside. Two little pockets on the sides. And then you have one in the back with the like a little snap closure in the back part i used to keep my um smaller i have like a travel sized um nail kit it's got like clippers and scissors i actually keep that in my backpack now because i use that when i'm at work i have a receipt in here for a beef stir fry that i bought from a supermarket here and then I have a receipt from Kmart and I have no idea what it's for. I have a receipt from Kmart for, it's called a Raglan tee. It's actually the shirt that I'm wearing in my full face and Maybelline video. I believe that's the one it is. Other than that, there's nothing in there. Sometimes I'll keep receipts in there, like important ones. Other times if like I really flare up and have like a patch of eczema, I might keep a tube of like this dermes in there. Other than that, I really don't keep anything in there because it's just like the snap closure and I don't like to keep much in there, but it doesn't bother me anyway. Now for the two little side pockets, there's not much in either of those either because the stuff that was in there, like I have my hand cream in one side that now lives in my work bag. In the other side I have, oh look, another receipt for the intense pods for our coffee machine. We I have the appointment card for when I got my tattoo. I don't even know why that's in there because I write it all on my calendar. And look, two, three more receipts. I hoard receipts, guys. Okie dokie, so I'm going to go through this little front pocket first. Then I will go through the middle one and then we will tackle what's on the inside. In the big pocket, honestly, there could be the Loch Ness Monster in there because I don't, I don't check it. So, in the front pocket... I have a number receipt 
from work because I bought a frozen lift. <laughs> and then I have my appointment cards for my government um, allowance appointments. I have an empty thing of Tic Tac Mint Rush. Smooth mint and cool mint. Will not be buying this flavor ever again. It was like burning strong, both of them. They did not taste very nice, but that's been empty for like three months. I have my Nivea Hydro Care lip balm. Honestly, I need to buy like three of them. Keep one in my work bag, one in here, and then one in my handbag. But that's my favorite lip balm of all time. This thing, honestly, I would rather be caught without my wallet than be caught without this. I have one of these Color by TBN lipsticks because don't let the packaging and the color fool you. It doesn't come out as intense as this. This is like my favorite go-to lipstick now. Um, and I find it doesn't melt as bad. So I actually keep that one in my handbag. I probably should swap it out because I'm kind of sick of wearing that one all the time but I also have like my little cooler tone lip liner from Wish to go with it. That actually has still been in my bag since I went on my holiday with my dad. I have a little skinny pen from the Holland America train line. Um, my TAFE teachers all have to work in the industry they teach so the hospitality ones work in the hospitality industry the travel and tourism ones work in the travel and tourism industry so a lot of them are mobile travel agents or tour guides and they get a lot of stuff for free and i was missing a, i like left my pencil case at home one day and didn't have a pen so my teacher gave me this and i just leave it in my bag because it's small sorry my phone just went off i've got like three dozen bobby pins in here and i actually don't even know why i have bobby pins because i use these little clips again I have three hair ties. I probably have like five in my work bag as well because I am very worried I'm going to run out of hair ties. Not run out of hair ties, but I'm going to be caught without any. <laughs> Particularly if I go to work because I have to wear my hair up because my hair is like down to the bottom of my boobs now. And, um, you know, I cannot go work at a fast food restaurant with my hair down and my hair does not take to using rubber bands very nicely at all. So I am always worried I'm going to be caught without hair bands. I have another pen. This one is from TAFE. Don't even know why that's in there. I have my Real Techniques contour brush. This I used to take with me to TAFE and stuff like that when I used to touch up my face. I don't even think I've used this since the last time I washed it. Um, so don't even know why that's in here because honestly, I don't go anywhere long enough to need to to touch up my face anymore. I have another color by TBN lipstick. This one is in the color birthday suit. The other one I had earlier was souffle all day. This one is a lot more rosy. It's coming off on camera a lot more like brownie neutral. This is the really nice rosy color. It's almost like a your lips but better color. Um, this is the one I actually wore out to dinner with my friends a few weeks ago. So that's why it's in there. I have another pen. I have a business card for my mechanic that fixes my car. I have a USB and I have a very, very nice, beautiful necklace. This is honestly one of my favorite necklaces. It's a very long chain. I love the very long ones with a pendant at the bottom and it's got a very nice intricate detail on it. Um, I believe I got this, my mum got me this to wear for my 18th birthday. Um, but I wear it all the time. And again, I wore it out a few weeks ago. I went out with my friends and then we went bowling and it was in the way. So I just took it off. That's it for that front pocket. Now I'm going to go into the middle pocket. It has these little studs on the side, but they can't come undone at all. It doesn't do anything. They're just there for decoration. So the pocket actually goes fairly deep in there. Um, I have, oh look, another appointment card for my <laughs> youth allowance. I have some tea bags. I have two of English breakfast and one of my green tea and mint because sometimes when I have a headache, a cup of tea is what works. So if I'm stuck and there's no coffee, I have caffeinated tea and I just have a green tea and mint. Sometimes I just need those. I often used to use those when I go to my dad's um, instead because he doesn't drink herbal tea. He only just drinks plain black tea. I like English breakfast, so they're just there sometimes. Or if I'm at work, I do not like our tea bags at work, so I might have one of those. I have a tube of pawpaw ointment even though I don't use it really as a lip balm anymore, but it's in there in case I don't have my lip balm or like if someone else needs a lip balm, it's like, yeah, I've got this, you can use it. Um, if I scrape myself, if I burn myself, I've used this a couple, like this a couple of times as burn gel. Now we're going onto the giant monster that is the top part here. Um, inside there is a little pocket at the back here, but I don't put anything in it. 
I used to put my phone in it because my phone fits, but I got tired, uh, so tired of having to undo my pocket and everything to get my bag, my phone out. I normally just shove my phone down the side in here now because it fits in there and I have it face up, so like bottom up so I can hear it when it rings. But the first thing that's in here is my wallet and this is a different wallet than what I used to have because that one completely fell apart. The frame fell off the whole thing and it fell apart. But this is the wallet I'm using at the moment and it's pretty janky. It's got... You know, makeup stains all over it. It's really worn here. This is actually from Wish. My grandma has the same one in purple. But look at the design. And I actually just bought this because I like the design. And I like to have a backup wallet. Because you never know when it might break. But I've been using this for like six months now. And it hasn't fallen apart yet. So it's going pretty good. It's just a bit dirty as wallets get. Momentarily, I forgot what this was, but this is a auxiliary cord. My car does not have Bluetooth for like the stereo and stuff. It's too old. It's 10 years old, but it's still very good condition. Um, and the auxiliary cord I have in there at the moment is extremely long. I have my glasses cleaning spray. I have two of these sprayer bottles. This one's actually nearly empty. So I have my car keys, which also include all the keys to my desks, the keys to my padlocks. Oh, I have a used hairnet. Apparently I chucked my hairnet in here from work a few weeks ago. The first couple of shifts I took my handbag. I have bunches of tissues because I can't clean my glasses on scrunch up paper towel because it scratches them. Or my bepanthin cream I got for my tattoo. A receipt for a Bacon Deluxe Hunger Tamers box I got from work once on my break. Look, I have another receipt from work for another Bacon Deluxe Hunger Tamers box. I have a clip lock bag I use for my like silver changing coins because I can't find a coin purse big enough and sturdy enough so it all gets chucked in there. I have a receipt from my bank for withdrawing the money for my fine I got a few weeks ago. And that's just the receipt to say they put it on my card instead of cash. Butter. This stuff you can get at Target and also some Priceline chemists. My cousin got me this set for Christmas a few years ago. I actually keep this at my dad's. Um, it's Mountain Rose Vanilla and Ylang Ylang. But this is like the most amazing scent. It's like musky rose. Oh. A couple of weeks ago, I was at my dad's and I realized I don't like my deodorant I have there. It's a Rexona one. I realized a couple of weeks ago, I don't like the deodorant I have at my dad's. It's really bad. I, even though I applied it before I went to work, I still felt like I stunk and I didn't have any perfume. So I rubbed this on me and I took it with me to work. I'm probably going to keep it here and just use it like as a perfumed cream or something or take it back to my dad's. I actually have another spray. Lens Bright Spray. Actually, I believe my, my dad or my grand... My mum gave me one of these. I actually have three. I didn't realise I already had one in here. I have this green card wallet. It is so dirty, but it keeps all my extra cards in here. But honestly, I forget about it. It's got my Opal card, which is what we use for, like, public transport. I got a card for Jamaica Blue, which is a, um, cafe. I've got my Sephora card, Mecca Maxima. I still have my old high school ID card. I've graduated three years ago and I still have my ID card. Does anyone else have that? I have a card with some Neuromol. This is the painkillers I take. This is ibuprofen and paracetamol mixed into one tablet. Um, so first off, I only take one tablet because I cannot swallow tablets whatsoever. Um, even ones this size, like I need to crunch them. So taking one is easier than crunching on a few. Um, but this is what I use because it is the anti the Nurofen is an anti-inflammatory and then the paracetamol is the painkiller so it works both ways. Um, I mainly only take it when I have one of my really bad headaches or when my foot's really bad. I have my sunglasses in here and I've been looking for these for about three days because I did not think they were in my bag. What else is in here? I have... <laughs> Two phone adapters. These are the little ones. I somehow, like four or five years ago when we moved house, ended up with everyone's old adapters. I have a card that's just got normal, like, ibuprofen or something. Paracetamol, sorry. Um, people always use that. I have my little bottle of Calvin Klein Eternity Now perfume. This is one of my favourites. And again, this has still been in my bag since January. I took this as my perfume on my holiday with me. This was actually in the pocket of my bag. And then the last morning we were there, I used it and 
put it in the big compartment because I was worried it would shatter. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but all of this crap, except for my light, my watch, and my drink bottle, all of this crap was in my handbag. All, oh, except for the Dermes tube, sorry. All of that junk fitted in that. I have absolutely no idea how any of that fitted in my bag, but apparently it did. By the way, I'm not naked. I have a singlet shirt on because again, that part of my tattoo that won't heal is very gross. I left a band-aid over it for like two days. So I'm letting it air out before I go to bed. I think my goldfish are dying because they're not happy. That crap was in my bag. So I'm now going to throw out the rubbish and put the rest of the stuff in it. My makeup and my brushes and stuff can go back in my collection and I will sort the stuff out later. I hope you guys had a really good day. I am not linking all this stuff down below because there is way too much. A lot of this stuff you probably can't get anymore and is just junk. So um, I'm not linking that down below, but my social media sites and some other videos and stuff will be linked down there if you guys want to see it. Please also hit the subscribe button, which is in the corner just down here. Please, that would be very much appreciated and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.